so the last two episodes are out fear the walking dead is over and what what have i got to say about it what have we all got to say about it um what i will say is the last two episodes were not like good episodes for say i i personally thought they were probably some of the best in the hall of season eight honestly the last two episodes but in my eyes they weren't anything like special like it wasn't necessarily good but it, it, it wasn't terrible the episodes were messy i put it in the way of they were messy like a lot of things happened very back and forth very weird like we think madison's dead but then she's not dead and then um i've already forgotten her name uh Troy's daughter literally isn't it bad I've forgotten her name already and um, she's like one side then the other side then one side like and then Madison just quickly changes up as well like it's it's a, it's messy but I want this video to kind of be positive and I don't want it to be long just a little something you know but I actually thought that the ending of the show was good okay like some people don't like it I get that and maybe I'm only happy for the fact that Alicia came back, maybe I'm only happy because it could have been much worse. But I believe it was fine. So Padre gets overrun by walkers and Madison basically does her season four thing where she sacrifices herself in a way. But this time she doesn't die. Um, Madison had like two, I guess if you want to count it, two fake out deaths in the finale, which is ridiculous. But um, Madison didn't die and she was a hero again. Um, it replicated season four, which then kind of in my eyes takes away from that moment because it was so unique, so special, so sacrificial. And I understand, I mean, I guess it doesn't really, but like it does a bit, maybe, depends who you are, depends depends on my thoughts on how I feel about it in the moment. But we saw that again and it was fine, you know, like it showed Madison was lost herself. Madison basically lost herself. And so by doing what she did, she kind of came back to herself and back to her opinion of just not being fully ruthless. And I thought Madison's character, besides the bit of back and forth, which was a bit much, I think that Madison killing Troy was great. I was a little bit hesitant when she was gonna kill again the daughter, I've literally forgotten her name. A um, little bit hesitant about that because she was a kid and Madison was very angry. But killing Troy, it, that did get to me. I was a bit like, whoa, she actually did do that. Um, Tracy, yeah, Tracy's the name, uh, but that did, I, I was quite shocked by that, you know, like, I was thinking, is Madison really gonna do that? Like, I was expecting Madison to come up to try and give him another chance, so, you, yeah, they did subvert my expectations, so, fair play on that regard, um, and then Troy's death, you know, Troy, Troy was pretty good throughout what we saw of him in season eight, Troy, I wouldn't say was anything bad, I would say definitely a positive, um, the individual ending stories, like June and I forgot her name. I don't know if it was like Blue Jay as like her um, code name in Padre. That was all right to see. You know, June and um, Blue Jay was fine. I don't know if it is Blue Jay, but whatever. Um, Dwight and Sherry getting back together and then going to go and transform Santry. That was also decent. Um, Strand and his family, again, decent, nice to see that Strand finally feels happy and he has a family and it's, you know, good for him. Daniel and Strand making up, you know, even though we've kind of sung this and seen it before and Daniel's not the same in my eyes, it's still like, it is what it is, you know, they made up, I'm happy for them. And then, um, Daniel's ending where he got to be with Skidmark again, completely forgot Skidmark existed, and even forgot, like, what happened to Skidmark, but, again, fair play, because it was nice they had their reunion, um, Luciana, I forgot what she was doing, like, Madre, you know, all this stuff, great that they renamed Padre after Madison, um, and of course the most important part of the ending was Alicia's return, which, again, drove everybody backwards and I think it would be more successful when season eight's out rather than like a, an episode week episode then even big six months basis I think to have Alicia just I think to watch episodes consecutively maybe even binge it binge it a bit and then to see like what happens I think that that is better than this big weekly thing you had to do between episodes uh it was so good to see her I was freaking out i like freaked out so much when i saw alicia come back because it was like it was a big deal like obviously in in the show 
believe it or not, there was only like 13, 12, 12 episodes between not having Alicia, which isn't a lot, because that's not even the whole of season six, not even the whole of season seven. Like, literally, it's not a lot, okay? But in the context of the break from season... Well, the break, you know, when season seven finished and season eight started, and then the mini break in season eight, and then each episode being weekly, it felt a lot longer than 12 episodes. But it was great to see her, and I'm so glad we did. Again, the episode being messy, all just kind of happens perfectly, that Madison gets dragged away by a Tracy, and then Alicia shows up, like, again messy just everything happening usual fear whatever but in terms of the story of it being like madison gets to reunite with leisha it was good and i don't think their reunion was butchered like i think strand and madison's and and then strand daniel luciana madison i think all their reunions like were a little bit butched just a little bit like happened but i believe madison and alicia's reunion was quite decent uh i thought the ending was fine you know I, 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 I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, it was such a disappointment, I hated it. Like, no, we got to see Alicia, which was huge, and probably the one thing that, like, everyone wanted. And we got a reunion between Madison and Alicia. It's not like Madison died and we just saw Alicia. I would have liked to have seen an, a, a reunion between Daniel, Luciana, and a proper reunion between Strand and Alicia. But, nevertheless, Fear the Walking Dead is over, and I would say it was an okay ending. It was fine. I'm I'm not gonna be crying about it, and I'm also not gonna I'm not gonna be crying about it in a sad way, and I'm not gonna be crying about it in an angry way. I feel at peace with it, and I feel as though if I ever rewatch *Fear the Walking Dead*, maybe um, I will add the rebooted seasons minus like season five, you know, maybe even season seven as well. Um, I I don't want to talk about like what you should do if you want to watch *Fear*. But I think that season eight uh, did kind of justify itself to be, like, watchable, basically. I'm just rambling now, so I will stop. So, yeah, pretty happy, pretty pleasantly surprised with it. Um, but I really want to know what you guys think, because I, I, have an, I have an opinion, and that doesn't necessarily mean that it's Bible. Probably sometimes quite the opposite and in the minority. But thank you for watching. Fear the Walking Dead is over. Um... <laughs> And I hope you have a good day or night wherever you are from. So I will see you all next time.